Introduction to the Circulatory System. In this segment of the tutorial, we'll give an overview of the circulatory system and its role. The Circulatory System The circulatory system is also called the cardiovascular system and is the organ system that moves nutrients, gases, and wastes to and from the body's cells. Closed circulatory system includes the heart, blood, and blood vessels and includes all vertebrates and annelids. An open circulatory system occurs in organisms like mollusks, arthropods. There is no distinction between blood and interstitial fluid, which is called hemolymph. Overview Circulatory System the circulatory system involves blood being pumped by the heart, going through the aorta, arteries, arterioles, to the capillaries, via the venules, the vein, the vena cava, back through the heart, pulmonary arteries, lungs, pulmonary vein, back to the heart. It's made the full circle. We're going to look at each one of these steps individually. Roles of the circulatory system. The circulatory system has two roles. That is, the delivery of oxygenated blood to the body cells and tissues and to pick up CO2 and cell waste products. Blood and blood vessels. In this segment of the tutorial, we'll talk about blood composition, blood vessels, and blood circulation. Blood composition 55% plasma, 45% cells. There are red blood cells, erythrocytes, which carry oxygen, and white blood cells, leukocytes, which are immune system cells that fight disease. Plasma is mostly water and nutrients, so blood is composed of 55% plasma and 45% cells. Red blood cells components. Red blood cells produced by stimulation of the bone marrow by erythropoietin Lifespan of approximately 120 days, destroyed by phagocytes in the bone marrow and spleen, responsible for oxygen transport and carbon dioxide removal. Blood components platelets. Platelets, cell fragments produced by stimulation of the bone marrow by thrombopoietin. Platelets have a lifespan of approximately five to nine days. They're destroyed in the spleen. They release coagulation factors when activated and form a plug to stop bleeding in conjunction with fibrin. Blood components, white blood cells, B and T cells. B cells develop in the bone marrow and become antibody producing plasma cells. T cells develop in the thymus. They differentiate into T helper cells or T cytotoxic cells. Blood vessels. Blood is carried through the body in a network of blood vessels. Arteries carry blood away from the heart. Veins carry blood to the heart. Capillaries are the smallest blood vessels where exchange takes place. Passive diffusion lets oxygen nutrients out of the blood into the tissue and carbon dioxide waste out of the tissue back into the blood. Blood circulation. The heart pumps blood through two blood vessel circuits. Do you know what they are? Yes. The two circuits are called the pulmonary circuit and systemic circuit. Do you know what these circuits are for? Of course, 
The pulmonary circuit circulates blood between the lung and the heart. The pulmonary circuit delivers CO2 to the lung, picking up O2. The systemic circuit circulates blood between the heart and the body. The systemic circuit delivers CO2 to the heart and delivers O2 to the tissues. Pulmonary circuit. The pulmonary circuit pumps blood between the lung and the heart. In this way, the lungs exhale the CO2 from the body and it inhales O2. So CO2 gets pumped to the lung and O2 gets pumped back to the heart and to the body. Systemic circuit. The systemic circuit pumps blood between the lung and the body tissues. In this way, the CO2 from the body's tissue is brought to the heart and the oxygenated blood carrying O2 is brought to the tissues. Pulmonary and systemic circuits. Pulmonary and systemic circuits work together so that oxygen-rich blood is provided to the tissues and wastes like CO2 removed from the tissues. Coronary circulation. Coronary circulation is the circulation that supplies blood to and from the heart muscle. Heart muscle tissue, myocardium, requires coronary blood vessels to deliver blood throughout the muscle. Coronary arteries bring oxygenated blood to the myocardium. Cardiac veins take deoxygenated blood from the heart muscle. Surface coronary arteries are called epicardial coronary arteries. These are narrow vessels and affected by atherosclerosis, when blocked cause angina or heart attack. Subendocardial are coronary arteries deep within the myocardium.